What's going on everyone? Hope everyone out there is having a good day. Today what I want to talk about in my videos is uh, the culture shock that I got when I first went to the Philippines and, and also the second time because I still got it because I wasn't there for that long the first time. So the first thing I notice is the heat and the smell of exhaust when you get out of the airport. When you get out of the airport it kind of just hits you the, the humidity, the heat, the, the smells, the exhaust smells on the street and stuff. Um, definitely really gets to you. Also like the tourism industry, like there's lots of people there trying to get you to get in their rides, go with them and stuff. So it's very like, hey, hey, come with me, come with me. And coming from Canada, that's definitely something we're not used to. We're not used to stepping out of an airport and people trying to wave you down and get in their rides. But that's definitely something you see when you go to a tourism type uh, country, which Philippines is. Another thing I remember, like right off the bat, when I got into the taxi the first time in the Philippines, and then I started noticing a lot around the Philippines, is what I call the exhaust cough. If you're always around like the streets and stuff, and you're always breathing in the smog and the exhaust and all that bad dust flying around, you definitely start picking up a cough. There's a few times where I picked it up and it's just like a bad, itchy feeling in the throat and it just doesn't feel good. And if you're in a very smoggy area, you can definitely feel it. Another thing that catches you right off guard is like the politeness in the country. Like everyone's so polite and saying, hi sir, hello sir, what would you like sir when you're ordering and stuff. Or just genuine hospitality, just trying to help you out and like, oh, where are you going? Oh, it's over here. Or, like trying to help you find and stuff like that. But I also found a lot of directions that just uh, word of mouth given to you and they say, oh, oh, it's over there. Then it's sometimes not usually the right directions but when they like take you and show you oh it's over here then then it's a lot easier to get where you're going another thing you'll notice when you first get to the philippines you're either going to land in manila or cebu both places have some crazy traffic but i found if you land at nighttime in cebu then it's a lot less so if you do want to skip the traffic and it is your first time i do recommend going flying into Cebu at night because it's way easier. The strange thing I found about living in the Philippines is the staring. There is a lot of people that will stare at you, especially if you're a young foreigner. I found that I'm stared at a lot, especially in towns where there's not many tourism or not many tourists. Uh, you'll definitely get a lot of stares and if you're vlogging like I do sometimes then you get tons of stares. The entire street's kind of looking at you. So. A lot of people do get annoyed of this after a while, but from what I learned, it's mostly just because of curiosity. There just seems to be like a curiosity and wondering like, oh, what are they doing? Where are they going? Kind of thing. That's another thing. They'll always ask, oh, where are you going, sir? Like they're, they're always curious where you're going or what you're doing. Another shocking kind of thing is like seeing the street people, I guess, for the first time. Uh, having window beggars come up to your door and asking you for money. And though it does happen in some places in Canada, there are street people, but it's very rare and very few spots, like a couple places in Vancouver, and I've never really seen it anywhere else. So this is a funny one. Uh, a lot of places you'll hear blaring music, like really, really loud music. And you'll see it in like Jollibee's, you'll see it uh, outside malls and stuff like that. Sometimes if stores are doing promotions and uh, trying to get people in, they try to attract them with really loud music, I guess. Another thing that uh, definitely caught me off guard was like the street kids. Like the street kids are like really friendly, like, hey, 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 Joe, hey, how's it going? So they're like always wanting to like yell at you and say something or try to interact with you in some way. So street food, that's another thing that you don't really get too much here in Canada. There, there are like uh, street vendors and stuff. Not so much in my area, but in the Philippines there's uh, street food being made everywhere. Barbecue, uh, all kinds of noodles and stuff like that. Balut, all that kind of stuff. So you can see that all over the Philippines. You get the smells when you're walking around the streets. So. So it definitely all ties into the culture shock, like all the smells and the noises. It's really noisy on the streets sometimes. Everyone's honking. There's like a honking culture there where when people are trying to like say, oh, I'm going around you or I'm right next to you and stuff, they do it with honking. So it's kind of like a heads up thing. Not like here in Canada where honking means like, get the hell out of my way, I'm super mad at you. There it's more like a courtesy thing, like, oh, I'm gonna pass you now. Oh, I'm over here so don't hit me kind of thing so so it's definitely useful in like kind of the crazy chaotic traffic and stuff so so if you're ever wondering why everyone's honking that's the reason why and the last few things uh big malls definitely shocking how huge the malls are you can like literally get lost in the malls and not know where you are and stuff so that can kind of be fun if you haven't seen huge malls before 
But those are pretty much my observations. Uh, if you guys had any observations that I left out, make sure you put them in the comment section below. So I hope you guys like this video and until next time guys, peace out, catch you later.